Hello buddies and welcome back to the Series Sam Collection Secrets Guide. On this installment, I'm going to be walking you through the Sacred Yards. And I gotta tell you, this is by far one of the coolest freaking levels in the entire game. So let's get it started. As per usual, I will be running this on tourist mode with infinite ammo for the sake of being comprehensive and time efficient. Man, I'm excited to show you guys this level. I had a blast running through it and practicing. <clears throat> All right, to start off, let's pull out our cannon because boy, oh boy, it's just so good. I'm going to uh, try and actually skip as many of these enemies as I possibly can. I come in here. The harpies can still fly through the roof. There's going to be a trap full of froggies. No big deal. I guess their canonical name would actually be marsh hoppers, but they're fucking frogs, man. All right. So as soon as we enter this, now this is important. This took me a second to figure out. I love this secret so much. So when you pick up this little life token here, a little buddy's gonna spawn. It says, please don't hurt me. Shoot this. That is secret number one. Go ahead and kill him because he will start shooting you. Now you can come over here and bounce off that. Freaking awesome. Kill that guy. We're just going to skip most of this. Run right through here. Not even look back. So for this area, I will probably sip some coffee while I press all four of these buttons to continue forward. Alright guys, after all four buttons are pressed, we're going to continue forward in the level. This area, we're going to turn immediately to our left. So we're going to want to shoot that wall before it rises, right there. That's going to be secret number two. And that, that allows you to skip a lot of the puzzle aspect of this area. Uh, pick up the golden sphinx early and then we're going to come press this button for secret number three and what that will do is raise this platform here giving you access to this button which is actually secret number three now you can mantle up here grab your life there's little mini scorpions uh, about so if you're wondering what the hell you're getting shot from that would be it right there all right, guys, this is where it starts getting good. We're going to head back out now that we got the Golden Sphinx from this area, number one, I'm going to call it, on the left side of the uh, main main bit. All right. We're going to head to the right side since we entered from over there. All right, so as soon as we come into the right side, area number two, I'll call it, there's going to be a serious backpack here. It's going to run away from you. As you can see, we're going to pick it up. And secrets number four, five, six, and seven. Well, that was secret number four. So secrets number five, six, and seven are all going to go in this area here. Or going to be in this area right here. So the first one being number five, which is actually in the far left-hand corner there. We're going to kill all these enemies as we're approaching that. And I'm going to sip some coffee while we make that trek so it goes by a little quicker for you guys. Alright, and thanks to the magic of video editing, this is going to be secret number 5 right here. Once again, we're going to fast forward the video here in a moment. Secret number 6 is going to be at the far end after you pick up the backpack, turn to your right. And like I said, I will be fast forwarding this while we make the trek. I'll see you there. Alright, as we're approaching secret number six right here, we're going to turn right once more, and yes, once again, we will be fast forwarding this part and getting you to secret number seven, which is a cool, probably, I don't know, man, it might be the coolest one in the entire game. I know last episode I said that level had my favorite secret in the game, but this one might be my favorite. I don't know. There's so many good ones, but I'll see you there.
Oh, right. After you're done dispatching those enemies right there, secret number seven is going to be right here in the front of the pyramid. We entered from over there, just in case you're curious. Beautiful rainbow once again. All right, so we'll pull out the shotgun here because this is the classiest weapon in the game. You'll ruin our secret. I'm sorry to say, but... Sayonara, suckers. All right, and here we go. There you go. That is secret number seven, guys. Uh, the pyramid, or a uh, pyramid made out of crates. If anybody has tried uh, doing this on normal mode and rocket jumping as far up as they can, I, I mean, I don't think it's possible because you'd probably end up taking too much damage. But if anybody's been able to find a way to make it up there, please let me know down in the comments below. That would be freaking awesome. I might even make a little bonus video of me trying to attempt that. Let me know if that's what you want to see. All right, but back to it. We're pulling the cannon out because we we just want to get some business done, sip some coffee, shoot some dickheads. And now, first off, we're going to step on this button one time and let it rotate. Now, you do need to do this in the proper order or else you will lock off two of the secrets to yourself. So we're going to kill that, that guy. Don't press the button. Jump on it. Jump on here. And you can make the jump right here. So that's secret number eight. We're going to do the same thing for the other side, not the middle yet. We're going to do the middle portion last. Do it the same way. There we go. On the button, don't press it. You can strafe hop up there. That's secret number nine. And now we're going to the center bit. And this allows you to skip. If you're doing a speed run, for instance, you could probably do this one first and grab this immediately. That is secret number 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 8, 9, 10. And that is it. Mechanism has been un uh, activated for unlocking. Now this one, I don't understand the purpose of this, but this is secret number 11, the final secret of Sacred Yards. Let's just get rid of this dude real quick. Yeah, you gotta shoot this. And now that one has been raised right here. I bet you if you stand right there. Oh, you know, I just realized something maybe. But I think if you stand there when you shoot it, you might be able to ride this back up here. But other than that, I don't know the purpose of it. But that is the 11th and final secret of Sacred Yards. Let's just head back into the main area just for the sake of completion. So you can see what the end of the level actually looks like. And to verify that all 11 secrets have been found, we'll skip the cutscene. 11 out of 11 secrets, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here at Sniper's Palisade. This is Mr. North. I hope this video found you well. Uh, please visit me in the comment section. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Take it easy. Let's look at that nice skybox. So pretty. So fucking pretty. I love the skybox that are pretty. That's like my mouse pad. It's so fucking amazing. Haha. <laughs>